What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at Lego Ninjago Crystallized Jazz Dragon Bike. Uh, it comes with two minifigures and uh, a bike. So we are going to take a look at the bike first. Um, we have a really cool sort of new sort of front mold for the bike, which can be raised to make it look like it's opening and closing its mouth, because it is supposed to look like a dragon. It has got some translucent yellow pieces, because Jazz Lightning is yellow. Um, there's a lot of, uh, tiles on show, with these nice golden sort of scale pieces here. We have some stickers on the sides, there, there, and there, just to sort of show, um, Jay can stand there, and it's his control panel, make it look nicer. This wheel is really cool, I like these wheel attachments that are in gold here, that just run along the rim of the wheel. Um, you can sort of align them to make them go in with the wheel, um sort of grooves, which is pretty cool, uh, and sometimes they are all in line, sometimes they don't all match up. Um, but let's give it a roll test. It rolls pretty smoothly. Uh, it is a little bit wobbly because obviously there isn't balance to it. Um, however, that issue can be fixed with this um, sort of flag piece there. However, it does scrape across the ground and you can just like tilt it to make him go faster and pop it down just to prop up the bike so then it doesn't fall and tip. Honestly, it's a pretty cool bike for £17, or £17.99, as this set cost. It is quite cool. It is a very nice bike. Uh, I always like the Ninjago bikes. Um, compared to the other bikes, this is one of the more cooler ones, as more of a sort of sleek design with a bigger back wheel, some cool new pieces here and there. Um, some big swords, like all the Lego Ninjago sort of vehicles have, and the lightning at the back because it is Jay, not Kai, so he can't have fire at the back. He has lightning to power his car. Uh, he even has some little daggers at the front there. Don't know why. And he does have some translucent uh, yellow pieces at the bottom. But other than that, uh, yes, let's move on to the figures of the set. So, first figure we are going to take a look at is the main sort of villain of the set, um, which is one of the crystal sort of soldiers. There is a new headpiece and a new sort of sword piece, which just connects onto a modified lightsaber hilt. He has a very nice torso printing um, on the back with some crystals sticking out the vengestone, a translucent leg and a translucent arm with a purple hand. Uh, he has some nice torso printing there with some armor, some yellow printing, a nice gunmetal gray, and then some pink. He even has some translucent mohawk hair, and his head does look like a dragon. He has some translucent teeth, eyes, and a little beard there. Honestly, one of the more cooler bad guys we've had in Ninjago. I'm glad it's not a snake. Uh, it's more of like a dragon, which looks pretty cool. Um, and I do like his new blade. Uh, it just looks really cool. An amazing figure. Um, which is an amazing set. It's the cheapest way to get this guy, uh, unless he comes in the magazine. So... We'll see. Moving on to Dragon J. J is my second favorite ninja, and you'd know that if you've been a fan of the channel for a while. And in, him in his dragon form looks really cool. Um, we are getting Kai in his dragon form in the Lego Ninjago magazine, but currently you can only get Kai in his dragon form in the 34.99 set, which is Carl's car. I was going to get that, but then I saw uh, Kai was coming in the magazine. We might get more dragon people in the magazine, which would be really cool, because Jay has n a nice translucent headpiece there, uh, and he does look quite annoyed. Um, his eyes are sort of the bluish colour, and he has a sort of bluish uh, outline to the face sparks. He has translucent arms and translucent legs with a little bit of printing. Um, it does give me, like, energy vibes, uh, just the way they look. He has very nice new wing moulds, um, which has a cone piece and a little tooth on the edge. It is connected by this new neck attachment, which when taken off, you can get a better look at his back torso printing and a better look at his front torso printing as well. Turning him around there um, looks very cool. He has no back head print, which is a little upsetting, however uh, understandable. Also, this new mask with the dragon face in it and then the like, light yellow backing to it looks pretty cool as well. Um, I really like these new masks, uh, and his back torso printing is very cool, and definitely reminds me of the energy packs. However, the lightning, golden weapons of lightning look terrible. Um, they are just this little dragon piece here, uh, with some, like, pull connections on the sides, and you just sort of slot them into the chain. I don't like these nunchucks, 
I think they're a downgrade, and each one of these new sets, you do get a pack of golden weapons. So you have two of these for the nunchucks, then you have two scythes, two swords, two nunchucks, no, two shurikens, sorry, and then two little sort of things which you put on top of the helmets, uh, like the old samurai helmets that they used to have. Um, two of them in gold, uh, which I gave to Jay in the next set I'll review. Uh, honestly, it is a really cool set. I am a little disappointed with the nunchucks, but other than that, it is a great set and I do recommend it. So, other than that, I hope you all enjoyed. See you all next one. Have a nice day and goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.